Hey everybody, we're having a look today at the entry level uh, wine from Bus Busquet uh, CDP. It's known as the Busquet CDP Traditional Rouge 2016. Uh, if this is an entry level wine, you have gives you a, a fair, fair idea of the kind of quality in the loftier labels from these guys. Um, the vines are somewhere around 50 to 70 years of age. Um, the average age of the, of the entire vineyard operation is about 80 years. Um, this particular blend this year is uh, mainly Grenache. We've got 75% uh, Grenache here, 12% Rouverde, 10% Syrah, and the rest uh, tiny, tiny parts uh, of Cinso, Quinoise, and Vacaresse. Uh, terrible accent, apologies. Um, what's fascinating about CDP is just the incredible ingenuity required with infinitesimal blending. This, this bottle comes from 40 different individual vineyards that blended painstakingly to create what they think is the finest example of what their vineyards can do. Predominantly rocky soil, uh, uh, as, as is a lot of this part of the world. 40% uh, of, of the wine is uh, de so it's, it's going to be a lot more tannic and structured than possibly the, the other ones that, we've lo that we're looking at in this series. But um, color, definitely more of a garnet color. I've left it in the glass for a while, the bottle's been open for two hours. So a lighter, more approachable kind of color. Yeah, there's definitely, there's this thing called arrowroot that I can't find, but every time uh, a chef brings it out, I can identify it in the wines. Um, it's, I guess, uh, a little similar to cinnamon bark. Uh, I'm definitely getting that component. Some very, very gentle nutmeg. There's uh, some light licorice action, or maybe even that elastoplast, but not a bread elastoplast, more of a cool minty kind of thing and the nose it's very hard to describe a nose that promises such textural smoothness and luxury you just kind of know that, that the fruit is going to have a very distinctive uh, top end point of view Certainly a lot more approachable than the other single vineyard renditions from Busquet. Um, it's, it's something which I think will be ready in a year. It certainly won't upset you to drink it now, but I'd, I'd, I'd wait a year or so. Um, the, the thing that stands out the most is the sense of freshness and vitality about the wine that you're getting from the Grenache. There's a little bit of, um, I guess, that stone fruit action that you, that you sometimes find in Grenache which is nice. It's not playing in the front row. It's definitely there, though. Uh, and a little bit of muskiness. It's maybe, yeah, some, some sort of sense of musky fruit um, in the mid-palate. The length is not nearly as prodigious as the Vilbien, for example, from them, but still good enough and certainly worthy of its $59 price point. 93 points from Wine Advocate. They, say it, they see it drinking out for another 10 to 12 years, and without doubt, I would agree with that. So that's it from us today. Thank you.